Okay, guys, uh, two short videos today where I'm going to be posting about um, uh, to, to really just my underclassmen. So seniors, if you're watching this, uh, you guys have to get finish your final projects. When the final projects are done, you are done for me. Underclassmen, uh, I thought I'd uh, spend some time hitting topics that sh are going to be very important to you in the coming years. Okay, so you can see that this is something from Sally May, um, which you will uh, when applying for student loans, you will know them quite well. Um, now, I want to take a look at some of their information, uh, some of the data that they released back in 2019, um, talking about ways people pay for college. Now, uh, there's a lot of data on here, but the things I want to focus on is uh, um, on average, and again, average is a very skewed uh, uh, data number, uh, but on average, people spend about $26,000 uh, per year on college. Now, the ways they put things together in, in how to pay for them is broken down in the chart here. So you're going to see um, about 43% of that is going to come from savings and income. So money that we put in either just savings accounts or uh, 529 type savings plans. Uh, and we'll get into more deta detail on how we can use um, the, the 529 uh, efficiently in later videos. Uh, now, scholarships and grants program, uh, 31%. Uh, unfortunately, not everyone's going to qualify for these. Now, the difference between scholarships and grants, scholarships and grants are, are awesome as far as we don't have to pay them back. Okay. Now, savings and income, that's money that came in that we'll never see again. Uh, scholarships and grants are free money. And then borrowing is uh, is the problem of, of the, uh, the day is... Uh, we, we borrow uh, for this and then eventually have to pay this back. But hopefully the money that we've, um, a debt isn't, isn't bad if it, if it does one of two things, which uh, um, that if that debt can lead to higher earnings in the future or reduce costs in the future, then debt is a very constructive tool. Uh, now we are trying with a higher degree to raise our future income. So hopefully down the road, the borrowing will pay for itself in a higher income. Um, now, uh, in going back to scholarships and grants, the two categories is uh, grants are needs based and scholarships are merit based. OK, so but both of these require uh, some kind of an application process. And we're going to uh, discuss the plan in the next video of how we start putting these things together, scholarships and grants and borrowing and uh, other tools in order to finance this. OK, so there's some uh, a, a little bit more data in here, um, but we're getting back to uh, the next video is uh, is about FAFSA and this this we have to apply in order to see do we qualify for any of these things. OK, so the, the process is a little bit lengthy, but um, your guidance counselors are going to help you through some of the process. But the thing that that um, is a little bit strange is not everybody uh, fills it out. OK, fill it out. We want to make sure that any dollar that we can qualify for is one that we can get our hands on. OK, uh, stay tuned for the next video.